And now... I already <laughs> overdid it. Overloaded. <laughs> and now the two-time winner of the Pennsylvania Association of Broadcasters Award and the two-time winner of the Pennsylvania Associated Press Broadcasters Association Award. Promoting and advancing the craft and microbrew culture in Northeast Pennsylvania, it's another edition of... The Friday Bambas! Bambas! <laughs> Brought to you by Sabatini's Pizza and Exeter, oh, one of the boy. area's greatest selections of rare crafted crafted, and imported beers, growlers and crowlers, a hand pump. Oh, my. And 35 rotating drafts at Sabatini's Pizza and Sabatini's Bar and Bottle Shop, Wyoming Avenue and Exeter. I said, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Nobody else did. <laughs> Fucking idiot. We were mixing it up a little bit this week. Here's Lindo Sabatini. Hey, Good morning, hey, Lindo. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. And here's Bill. Happy Friday. From my beer. Buzz.com. We have a Sabatini's event, yes. and uh, we'll get our guest on here in a second, but our Sabatini's event is uh, in support of our guest today. Oh. So, uh, Lindo, tell us a little bit about the event. It's on the 16th of March, and that is next Wednesday. Okay. Very excited. This is going to be a big event for us. It's uh-huh. going to be the most beers we've ever had on draft for an event. Really? We're wow. going to be featuring 20 beers. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure how that's going to happen, but wow. we are doing 20 beers between the two buildings, and they're going to be from Terrapin. And Jack Sabby. So we're going to be splitting it, 10 beers from each brewery. Wow. And both of the breweries uh, have given us some amazing beers. Our lineup is fantastic. A lot of beers that you don't see every day from both breweries, and all, all the beers are just, uh, I'm really excited to try them. Say 20 again. I like 20. when you say that. 20. <laughs> <laughs> 20 beers. So come join us at the pizza shop early. Yes. Get there early if you want to get a seat. Yeah. Uh, Firkin Taps at 7 p.m. Uh-huh. Um, so come join us there and, and then uh, transition over to the beer and bottle shop uh, and, and enjoy the rest of them. It's fun to say Firkin. I like when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a Firkin and 20 beers. <laughs> Outstanding. We have a guest joining us from Athens, Georgia. This is his fifth return trip to the show from Terrapin Beer. We have Spike Bukowski. Hey, Welcome back, Spike. 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 Hey, good morning, everybody. How are you? Uh, terrific. We're glad to have you here. Spike, I know you're on the road somewhere. Did we wake you up early, or are you uh, on the East Coast? <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm, uh, yeah, I woke up a little early. I'm actually down in Tampa for Tampa Bay Beer Week, so uh, I'm a little worse for wear, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here <laughs> talking about coffee beer, man. I'm ready to go. You know what? Tampa, Tampa Bay Beer Week just sounds like we, uh, we should be there. I don't know. Uh, we fell down on this. We should be down there. So you went to bed you early. Should. You went to bed early last night after a, a, a calm night of, of tea and, and crumpets. Uh, almost. Uh, we were out last night. Uh, we saw a band called Mac Sabbath uh, in about wow. a.m. So, yeah, it was, it was pretty good. It's a cover band of Black Sabbath, and they dress up like McDonald's characters. So, so you, have to, you have to investigate on that one. <laughs> so, Spike, what what were you doing before you got into beer? What was uh, Spike's previous career before Terrapin? Uh, wow. I, I was actually pushing audiovisual equipment around hotels. Uh, so I was your AV man. Wow. So it, 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 <laughs> yeah, I, and I was. Wow, that's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. So and, and what was the epiphany? Uh, what's that? What was the epiphany when you said, oh, this is not for me and I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to brew beer? Uh, you know, suit and tie or uh, or drink beer. So I, I chose <laughs> to drink beer, beer part. Yeah, it's, it's, it's self-evident. There. Decision made, choice. yeah. yeah. So happy 14th anniversary. Are you guys doing a special beer for your 14th anniversary? You know, we are doing a very special beer for our 14th anniversary. We are doing our special uh, 14th year anniversary, which is a tart Belgian red ale. Oh. Um, this is the first time we have done a kettle sour at the brewery. So uh, we kettle soured this beautiful Belgian red and... Uh, you know, we, I don't know if you guys know about lacto fermentation in the kettle, and we soured it, and then we fermented it with uh, the Chimay yeast strain. So it's going to be a beautiful tart Belgian red. It's, it sounds really, really good. And is this something like the hundredth brew that you crafted on your in-house stuff? Yeah, how exciting is that? So this is the hundredth terrapin beer uh, ever produced. So we're really excited to uh, to have our anniversary party and also celebrate our hundredth beer. Ask your doctor. So ask stuff. your doctor if lacto fermentation is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so we always ask you. It's a tradition on the show uh, to ask about uh, your side project beers, and and I know yep. I, I know number twenty seven is a mango habanero. 
And I know number yep. 28 is Smoke on the Porter. Is, is yep. any? Uh, it's just us here quietly, Spike. Is there any information on number 29? Spill your guts. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> I don't have that information. Uh, you know, these things kind of come, you know, we either uh, throw them at the wall and see if they stick, or, uh, you know, sometimes the name comes before the beer, sometimes the beer comes before the name. So I'm going to be tight-lipped on that one. <laughs> you guys are way ahead of me. So. <laughs> you didn't stay up late enough last night. <laughs> so, so then tell us about 28. Uh, 28 is smoke on the porter. Yeah, so uh, Terrapin has not yet done a Baltic porter. Um, so I'm going to add a little Terrapin twist to that and uh, add some smoked malt. And we're going to age it on French oak. And uh, we're going to call that one smoke on the porter. Nice. We look forward to that one. Um, we we yeah. have four sitting in front of us, so should, we should probably not might want to dilly-dally and, and start on these. <laughs> um, we have all four of the single-origin coffee stouts in front of us. And first, tell us about, because these are all sort of based on the same beer. Tell us about sort of the yep. base beer for the single-origin beers. Sure. Well, as you guys know, we do a, uh, a little beer called uh, Wake and Bake, which is our coffee oatmeal imperial stout. So it's based off that recipe, but um, it is only 5.7% alcohol. Mm. And there is a lot more um, smoothness to this beer. I added more flaked barley and flaked oats. I uh, also use something called black print, which is like a dehusked uh, barley um, and a little bit of midnight wheat uh, to soften it up a little bit. So basically when I came up with the formulation for this beer, I wanted the stout not to overpower the coffee. So the stout is in the background, very smooth, low alcohol, low bitterness, um, to let basically the whole bean of the coffee shine through. Um, so the coffee uh, really overpowers the beer. Uh, beer doesn't get in the way, and then you guys can taste the different uh, different coffees very easily. And, and we should give a shout out to Jittery Joe's, because a lot of your beers in the past, and all four of these sure. feature Jittery Joe's. Tell us what about Jittery Joe's. Yeah, you know, we've been working with these guys um, since, since the Wake and Bake came out, and uh, they are just phenomenal. Uh, they really help us walk through all these different beautiful coffees, and we sit down and do cuppings and we sit down and taste the coffee's hot we taste the coffee's cold and they're just a great partner to work with i mean they're an athens company they're they're probably about a mile from the brewery so when we get these coffees they literally uh roast them uh roast the beans uh grind the beans and drive them over to the brewery and they go in the beer so less than an hour later uh you know we're making great coffee that's beer. excellent that's like hands-on all the way start to finish right there you know it's unbelievable absolutely so i thought we'd start sort of domestically and uh the first one is is hawaii uh hawaii kona coffee uh mm -hmm. and, and tell us about some of the characteristics of that one these are all 5.7 percent abv and 30 ibu but tell us about the characteristics yep. of of hawaii uh sure uh characteristics of the kona coffee is expensive <laughs> there it is. All Yeah. So um, on their tasting notes, you know, when we sit down and, and do cuppings and things, um, the coffee, uh, the, it'll give you hints of clove, mm -hmm. uh, honey, and it's very tea-like. So it's not uh, what we say is a very strong coffee, but it's a very beautiful coffee. Um, and, and in that beer, it really, really shines here very nicely. And I, I think the tea-like is a really, really good descriptor. I'm, I'm not a really good coffee taster with coffee descriptors, but I think tea-like mm -hmm. and that spiciness of the clove is really nice. Uh, yep. Up, yep. Next, uh, up next, I thought we would go to Ethiopia. Um, tell mm -hmm. us about some of the characteristics of Ethiopia. Yeah, the Ethiopian, uh, what we got is, is kind of jammy, strawberry jammy, um, hints of melon and vanilla. So, you know, subdued kind of uh, strawberry notes, melon, and, and a roundness from that vanilla. Uh, very, very interesting coffee. This one with the vanilla, uh, just to plant a seed, I think this one would do nicely in a bourbon barrel. I bet you the bourbon would bring Ooh, up some yeah. really, really that's, nice flavors nice in this idea. one. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Just in case you're taking notes. That's fine. <laughs> right, right, right. I'll, I'll get right on that. <laughs> uh, I'm already on my way to Sumatra here, uh, by the way. Yeah, up next we have yep. Sumatra. Uh, so tell us a little bit about Sumatra. Uh, yeah, um, in there we got, uh, you know, hints of pineapple, uh, a little spiciness, and we kind of we kind of had the note as cinnamon, uh, a little sugary. Um, so I, I would call it a little bit more acidic um, than the Ethiopian just because of those pineapple notes. 
so very another very beautiful coffee. Yeah, and I like the pineapple descriptor. I do get a little of the, the pineapple and the acidity of a pineapple The in first it. thing I thought was spicy. When you mentioned spicy, it's exactly mm-hmm. what I was feeling. That yeah, that, that cinnamon. Yeah. And and with the fourth one here, the first one's Guatemala, uh, but there's there's yep. a, a dis, not a descriptor. There's the name of the farm, Spike, and I, I, I'll buy you four, five, six, seven beers if you can pronounce <laughs> the name of this farm. Uh-oh, there's a challenge. <laughs> Uh, I, I can't, but my, my wing would be uh, Lakzama, Lakzama, double like, yama. I don't know. It's like way, 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 Tenango or yeah. something along that's, that line. That's what I was going to say. Way, <laughs> way, Tenango. So tell, yeah. tell us about, before we torture you anymore with the name of it, tell us about uh, Guatemala. <laughs> Um, well, that one, uh, it's kind of big and juicy, uh, medium body. Uh, you'll get a little bit of spiciness or black pepper and some, like, like stone fruit or, or plum, like a deep, a deep plum note. Yeah, I like the dark fruit descriptor. I think that does really well with it. Um, these are all really nice beers, 5.7% ABV, as you said, 30 IBU. So they're a little on the, on the hoppier side of things. Is this nugget hops in these, Spike? Uh, yeah. Yep, yep, nugget hops, and, uh, you know, 30 BU for, for a stout, I mean, I, I, like I said, I think I think it was round, um, you know, and then the coffee, you'll get the bitterness from the coffee as well, um, but, you know, I don't think the hops overpower, and we kind of just put them in the, uh, on the bittering side, so no, not really flavored, uh, like I said, just to get all the flavor from the coffee. Re- really nice balance. You can get all of these at Sabatini's as well. Anything up next in the Monster Beer Tour? Um, Monster Beer Tour, I mean, that one, uh, what do we got coming up in there? Well, we got that Mango Habanero, that side project. But uh, Monster Beer Tours are, are pretty much the same where we do, you know, of course, Wake and Bake. Um, and But the, the newest thing that if I can t- throw out there yeah. uh, is we are actually going to be doing a Watermelon Goza this year. Yeah. Um, I saw the can. So the can looks amazing. Be really exciting. Yeah, thank you so much for that. And, uh, you know, we just filtered our newest beer. It's our Soundcheck Pilsner. Um, so we're doing a year-round Pilsner, and uh, that will be canned next week. And we're really excited about that one. I, I, if you guys know me, uh, that is my favorite beer style. Nice. So, um, you know, I'm really excited about, about and, pushing Pilsner out. And a great name. It goes along with your, your love of music as Ooh, well. Looking forward to that for sure. Uh, we, we've Absolutely. Been, we've been enjoying, uh, uh, I guess you would call this a variation on the theme here this morning. Terrapin Single Origin Coffee, South Sumatra, Hawaii, Guatemala, and Ethiopia. Yeah. Subtle but mm-hmm. distinct one from yeah. the other. Right. I urge everybody to give them a try. And, of course, the mastermind behind it all, Spike Bukowski, our guest this morning. Spike, thanks for being here. Thanks, Spike. Thank you so much. You guys have a great weekend. All Thanks, right. Mike. Take care. The Friday Beer Buzz, powered by Sabatini's and Exeter, one of the area's greatest selections of rare craft and imported beers. Growlers and Crowlers, a hand pump, and 35 rotating drafts at Sabatini's Pizza and Sabatini's Bar and Bottle Shop, Wyoming Avenue in Exeter. This is the Friday Beer Buzz, bringing good beers and good people together.